What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of What's on the Menu. Dale is meditating because he might lose his cool today. Uh, but before we get to that story, I have to say this. I had to go to the DMV this morning, and Dale, I fucking hate the DMV. That is the most revolting place on the goddamn planet. Actually, I think I'm going to lose my cool. Motherfucker. Damn, how you really feel, bro? It is just... Ugh. They're just I mean, the people and the fact that COVID has now got into the mix, the procedures that you had to go through. I mean, I was in a line that was probably longer than Interstate 5. Like, it was ridiculous. Fuck. What time did you get there? 6.55. I didn't leave until like 10 when I FaceTimed you ranting about this. I didn't realize you got there that early. I thought you got there like late and then like just were stuck in the line. I didn't realize you got there 35 minutes before they opened. Yeah. And actually they don't open until eight. So it was absolutely fantastic sitting there. And to make matters worse, my fucking phone was at 12%. And I had something on my phone that I had to present to them. So it was just a culmination of absolute brilliance on my part. I, I mean, I'm speechless. That sounds like my worst morning ever. I think I would rather go to the dentist. Continue to surprise me, you dirty, dirty little man. Just you wait. You like that, Dale? You like that, Dale? Oh my God, yeah. Then go to the DMV. I, I really think I would. I don't I understand the be... people that don't like the dentist, though. Like, who doesn't like their teeth and mouth feeling incredible? For I'm talking like a root canal weeks. procedure. Like, I'd rather get some no. dental work done or like a filling. Never had that. Then, oh, it must be nice. <laughs> Go on, look at you. It must mm. be very nice. So that was my morning, guys. I'm sorry to rant. I just, I had to get it out there. If it, Someone drop it in the comments below if you can't stand the DMV. Because I sure as hell can't. And I know Dale certainly doesn't either. There was one other story that he cannot stand. Dale, spring training, summer camp, whatever you want to call it. Dale, your boys, Jose Altuve, Alex Bregman, and George Springer all got beamed today in their exhibition game against the Kansas City Royals. In an exhibition game, that means absolutely nothing. Is it going to be a long 60-game season for those three and the rest of the Astros? So the Astros are – my least favorite team sports team in the world it's not close it's not comparable i hope that this is the longest season of every single one of their lives they i just i don't respect a single one of them and i don't think anybody in baseball does either especially now, watching why, all their now, reactions what's the reason that you don't respect them dude they're cheaters they are literally cheaters like i i played baseball growing up you're a baseball guy I played as well. Yeah, like, we're, I mean, we're huge baseball guys. Like, we understand, like, tipping signs and being able to pick up signs from, like, dugouts and stuff. It's been but part of the game for 100 years. Yes. But when you know every single pitch that is coming because you have cameras and then you have a camera guy and then you have bats. And a trash can. And tra <sighs> So, to provide some context, Dale – a couple years ago, I went to the playoff game or the playoff series where the Astros were playing the Indians. And this was when the Astros were in full force cheating mode. Mm -hmm. And since then, I would be pissed too. I really would. If that was my team facing another team with a chance to go to the World Series and they were blatantly cheating that bad, yes, I would be just yeah. as pissed. I, I just I have no respect for them. I think that they all got slap on the wrists and the fact that, like, Pete Rose is still banned from the game for betting on himself. And, like, these guys literally cheated to a World Series and nothing happens to any of them. Like, that makes no sense to me. None. I want refunded for my playoff tickets. What are we working with? What's the ballpark? How many? How much were the tickets? Uh, so, actually, I got my dad and I load seats. Okay. For that game. I think that was like eight or nine hundred. Yeah. Like I was a season ticket holder. So cheap. don't so don't get me wrong. Like I didn't pay that full price. Like I had other seats around the ballpark that like I sold and whatever. Yeah, but it's the value tickets. of the but ticket. Yeah, the value of the ticket it's itself. The principle like, of the situation. Yeah. Dude. Like yeah, like absolutely ridiculous. I'm actually proud of you. You didn't actually blow up as much as I expected you to. I got it out earlier. I usually blow my load for a second and then I'm okay for <laughs> round two. You know, that's how it goes. I'm back come, around too, baby. I'm the comeback kid. <laughs> yeah, well, well, I mean, I don't know. It's going to be a long season for the Astros. Whatever happens, happens. 
But that's all we have for today, guys. Give us the follows, W-O-T-M Daily, Instagram and Twitter, Apple and Spotify. What's on the menu? Go listen to the podcast. Hit that subscribe button. Like, share. Will, see you tomorrow. We'll see you later.